Welcome to quantitative aptitude video on problem on ages from careerride.com. In this video, we'll be discussing five different kind of problems which are asked from this chapter in various aptitude examinations. Examinations like bank, bank entrance examinations, management entrance examinations, and various other aptitude exams organized by government bodies. Now we'll be focusing on five different kind of problems from this chapter and it would basically go on and cover about 95% of the syllabus from this chapter and you'll be able to hit on almost all the problems of this chapter in any examination. The first kind of problem is, let's read the first question. Two years ago, Mr. Andrew's age was six times age of his nephew. Six years hence, the ratio between the age of Mr. Andrew and his nephew is 10 is to 3. What is Mr. Andrew's present age? Now reading the question, we get two inferences. First, the old ratio is 6 is to 1. Two years ago, Mr. Andrew's age is 6 times the age of his nephew, 6 is to 1. And then the second inference, 6 years hence the ratio between the age of Mr. Andrew and his nephew is 10 is to 3, which is the new ratio. So two equations would be formed. Let present age of x, a, let present age x for Mr. Andrew and y for his nephew. Then we'll form the equation 2 years ago, that means x minus 2, and 2 years ago, that means y minus 2 for his nephew. Uh, 2 years ago, Mr. Andrew's age was 6 times the age of his nephew. That means x minus 2 is equal to 6 into y minus 2. This equation goes up to x minus 6, y minus 10 when simplified. And the second equation would be, as said in the question, 6 years hence, 6 years hence, the ratio between age of Mr. Andrew and nephew is 10 is to 3. That means 6 years from now. So 6 years added in x, x plus 6, 6 years hence, y plus 6, 6 years hence. Then 3 into x plus 6 is equal to 10 into y plus 6. The equation would come down to 3x minus 10y is equal to 42. What we would do here is we have got two equations and we'll solve these two simultaneous equations to get the answer. We'll get y is equal to 9 and x is equal to 44. The current age of Mr. Andrew would be 44. The second question. Ratio between present ages of x and y is 3 is to 4. What is the present age of x if 4 years ago the ratio was 5 is to 7? Now, x is to y is equal to 3 is to 4. x by y is equal to 3 is to 4. And now, the second inference. 4 years ago, the ratio was 5 is to 7. So, 4 years ago means x minus 4 and y minus 4. The ratio 4 years ago was 5 is to 7. So, we've got these two things. We'll form the equations. 4x minus 3y is equal to 0. This would be the first equation. And 7x minus 5y is equal to 8. This would be the second equation. We'll multiply equation 1 by 7 and multiply equation 2 by 4. This is a common procedure which we know uh, since class 5 or 6 how to solve two simultaneous equations with different multiples attached to them. Now the y value of y would come up to y is equal to 32 hence x is equal to 24 and the age of the a comes up to 24 years which is the answer we need. The third question. Sum of present ages of Ram and Sham is 60 years. Five years hence their ages will be in the ratio 3 is to 4. We have to find Ram's present age. Now, sum of the present ages of Ram and Sham is given as 60 years. That means x plus y is equal to 60 if Ram's present age is assumed as x and Sham's present age is assumed as y. So, 5 years hence, x plus 5 is to y plus 5 is equal to 3 is to 4. So, equation 2 would be formed. 4x minus 3y is equal to minus 5. We've got two equations. We'll solve these two equations simultaneously and get y is equal to 35. Then put the value of y in equation 1 and get the value x is equal to 25. As we initially in the equation assume the value of Ram, uh, value of Ram's age to be x, then percentage of Ram age is 25 years. Fourth question. Ages of Anita and Bablu are in ratio 8 is to 5. If sum of their ages is 39, what will be the ratio of their ages after 9 years? Now what we would do here is, we would assume the age of Anita to be x and assume the age of Bablu to be y. As given in the question, x is to y is equal to 8 is to 5. 5x minus 8y is equal to 0, which is the equation number 1 we have got. Now sum of the ages, 
as given in the question is 39. 39 is equal to x plus y is the equation 2. Solving these two simultaneous equations, we get the value of x and y to be 24 and 15 respectively. What he is asking in the question is what will be the ratio of their ages after 9 years. So we would go on and add 9 to both of their ages. We will add 9 to 24, we will add 9 to 15. So 24 plus 9 goes up, goes up to 33 and 15 plus 9 goes up to 24. So when simplified, the ratio comes up to 11 is to 8, which is the ratio between the ages of Anita and Babu after 9 years. Question number 3. This question, moreover, is a tricky question when it comes to the presentation of the question, but it's very easy when you go on and solve this question. So you have to pay heed. Uh, while reading this question. Three years ago, Ram's age was twice sum of age of his four sons. And in three years time, Ram's age would be equal to sum of age of his sons. That means we are uh, today, uh, we are talking in terms of today, we are talking for three years uh, down the line and three years before. So three years ago, let the sum of Ram's age be x. So according to question, Ram's age at that time would be 2x as depicted in line 1. So, 6 years hence, that means from 3 years ago, if you add 6 years, that means 3 years to 3 years ago, from that is equal to now, and 3 years from now also, that means 3 years ahead of us. So, 6 years hence, Ram's age would be 2x plus 6. You will be adding 6 years and 6 years hence Ram's son's age. So we will add 6 to the ages of all those 4 sons. So x which was the total then 3 years ago and 6 into 4. That means it comes down to x plus 24. So we will simply put the equations together. As specified in question in, uh, in 3 years time Ram's age would be equal to sum of his ages. Hence 2x plus 6 is equal to x plus 24. So we get the value of x is equal to 18. Now 6 years hence, Ram's age is 2x plus 6 is equal to 40, 42. Now 6 years hence, that means 3 years from now. 6 years hence, we are talking uh, in the terms when we were counting from 3 years ago. So 3 years from three, uh, 3 years added to 3 years ago, that means we reach present and then 3 years more. Then we reach 3 years ahead of the time. So 6 years hence, Ram's age is equal to 2x plus 6 is equal to 42. Now 42 is 3 years ahead of us. So we will minus 3 years and get the present age of Ram. That means 39 years. I hope this video helps you to deduce the questions on ages easily. These are the five type, five type of questions which are frequently asked in different kind of examination all across the nation. Uh, I hope this video helps you with the problem. Thank you.